Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to Jia Podcast. Today I'm here with Sarah and we're going to talk about traveling with friends. We should have done this topic earlier. No, but I think it's good because now it's like oh, the, the, the holidays. Season. Now okay, it's the holidays. Okay. A lot of people like their A levels have ended. I, I, I don't know whether O levels you're allowed to travel together, but like A levels, a lot of people like to go for trips before university, then they will like ask their friend, and then like have less hurrah before. And I just went on a trip with a friend. Okay, so that's just <laughs> perfect. So today we're going to talk about about it because I think anybody who has traveled with friends before knows that usually it is not a bit of roses. There'll be something, like at least one thing. <laughs> okay, so let's start with this. Let me ask you. Mm-hmm. Do you enjoy traveling with friends? I'm okay, but I'm be- even more okay with solo traveling. So okay, so I enjoy my own company. I'm the type of person. So you're saying if you can choose solo or friends, you rather solo. I would choose solo, but friends is like, it's fun. It has its own benefits too. Like maybe you go to a place that is a little bit more dodgy, then you know it's better to go with friends. Hmm. Personally, my ranking for travel, right, is my husband, uh-huh. the other the the other people in my family, then friends, then by myself. Like I'm very very against solo traveling. Why? I don't enjoy my own company. Oh, that's, oh, I, okay. I I cannot. I don't know how to enjoy. Honestly, I don't know how to enjoy my own company. Like I get very bored. Uh-huh. So so the only time that I can say I solo traveled right was when I went, oh, in 2018 when I went to Korea then I met you in Hokkaido remember uh-huh. so before that I was actually I wasn't even traveling I was on an, an on an exchange so that's why I was there by myself and I tell you like the days right when I'm like I have no class then I'm just walking around so and I love Korea I really really love Korea but even still right. I was like, yeah, I just wish I had someone with me. But you just walked around aimlessly or you had a plan? I just walked around aimlessly because I was there for so long. Uh, so it's not like like I was there for like one week or I got things to do. It's like after a while, I'm like, I just no, enjoy... But if you had things to do? Like you plan... No, I still I still prefer going with friends. Okay, I okay. prefer like... Because even when I eat, right? Like, I want to be like, hey, very nice, right? Then we try uh-huh. together. I don't like it where I'm like sitting alone then I got nobody to talk to. Okay, okay. Okay, so, uh, but uh, let's talk about like French, right? Uh-huh. Why friends is so low on my list? I think it's because I never meet people who have the same traveling style as me. Only because you don't live with them as too. What do you mean? So you don't know their yeah. yeah. style, yeah. No, no. Okay, how they live. Sometimes you can get clues from from their previous travels, or even like when you go no, out no, with how them. To, how to tell? Is because, it? Yeah, how to tell? Unless you live with them. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, to be honest, I haven't been... I I've, I feel like in my life... Okay, like, maybe in my life, I've been like more than five trips with my friends. So, it's easy to say. So, let's start with like our trip. Our own trip in Hokkaido back in 2018. Uh-huh. Do you think it was an like, okay trip? It was okay. But the only thing is that if I was a working adult then, right, I would have splurged more on the hotel. One of the reasons, right, I don't like to travel with my friends... Uh-huh. Is because our budget always cannot match. And then that because, no, the because discre- is the discrepancy that big? Yeah, because okay, this is back when I was when we were students. Because most okay. of my travels with my friends were back when we were students. So okay. yes, the discrepancy was very big because I'm a person who's very willing to splurge on holiday. Okay, okay. And to be honest, I at that time I also had the means too, lah. But I understand a lot of people didn't. So in in the end, like then you have that kind of like discrepancy, lah. Like 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 like. Like what you say, if you were working adult, you would have stayed in a better place. Yes. So for, for me, it's like the same thing. It's like when my friends want to stay at some like mm-hmm. not so nice place, right? I get very like, oh, I don't want and I get very uncomfortable. So let's talk about like the traveling style. So I think this is the thing that causes a lot of friction. So I think um, mm. in, recent, in recent years, this thing about traveling styles has become more talked about, like, especially on TikTok. So I actually found seven traveling styles, okay? So you just pick okay. two out of these seven. Okay. Your favorite type. So that's the first one is transformative and wellness. No. So the eat, pray, <laughs> love kind of trips. Second one is nature, so scenic kind of trips. Uh-huh. Third one is luxury. Okay. Fourth is culture. Fifth is culinary. Sixth is budget. And seven is adventure. 
Okay, why why shopping not on the list? Luxury la. Okay, okay. I think I'm luxury and nature. Okay. For me, if I were to choose, I will be nature and adventure. No, it, it, no, no. It's not my adventure, actually. I'm not that adventurous. Nature and culinary. Okay. Yeah, so so that's why I think there already we have like that kind of clash. But it happened that we went Hokkaido and there's not a lot of shopping there. So I think we both the, enjoyed the No, the places the that we chose don't have shopping malls. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think it, it's, it's very just nature. Yeah, yeah. So I think that trip was good. I actually really okay, enjoyed okay. it. I had no like, I had no complaints after the, the Hokkaido trip. But I did have, when I went with my other friends, I did have some kind of like frictions with, with, with them. Is traveling styles? Or like, you had to share room with them, then you didn't like, for example, hygiene? Traveling styles. And oh, they want to go shopping. No, a bad a responsibility. So my, my problem with my friends, right, I remember when I went with my poly friends, it wasn't about traveling styles. It was about responsibilities. Because there will always be this one or two people spearheading the entire trip and the rest of the people are just like little shit being led along. Okay. And it's very tiring for these two people to research what to eat, make all the reservations, plan all the activities, book the transport, make everybody happy. You know, it's very tiring and I hate being one of those people, honestly. But the thing is, okay, I say this right, but I also like to plan because I like to, I like to, plan where I'm going. And that's why right, a lot of my trips end up only being like me and my husband. Because then... Why not you split the work? Like you will charge a hotel. No, it, it's a- okay. It's okay if you're willing to split. But you know there are some people, right? You ask them, uh, hey, where oh. you want to stay? Or oh, anything. You decide lah. I okay with anything. Uh, and it's not helpful at all. It's just pushing the responsibility back to you. Oh, okay. And that is the kind of situation I'm talking about. Okay. Or like, eh, what you wanna eat tonight? I don't know. Anything you decide. Okay, I think it's important, right, to have someone that have the same energy levels as you. Mm. Like I realized, I realized it. So okay, on my Japan trip, right, I went with my nicest, like nicest and the most accommodating friend. So I thought, okay, sure, no problem. Then after I tried, I realized one thing: like our energy levels are quite different. So like our traveling style is similar. Like the things that we we look for, right, when we travel, right, the, the places that we like to go, right, is similar. But then the only difference was that, right, I can walk a lot, but you cannot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that was one of my, my questions. So apart from like the traveling styles, right, there's two types of people. The fast pace and the slow pace. I'm not fast, but I just like to walk. Uh, ah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I mean fast pace by, as in like, they, they, they put a lot of things in one yeah, day. Yeah, they put a it? lot of things in one oh, day. Oh, we, we didn't. We, we, we were quite... Our itinerary was quite chill. But somehow we went out at 10. We reached back at like 9pm for some reason. Even though we thought we had very little things already. You know? But usually traveling is like that. La. Because yeah. for, for me, I'm, I'm the same. Like, I don't like to put a lot of things in one day because I like to give time for like roaming and stuff. Uh-huh. But I will not wake up late for a holiday now because last time right when i was younger right if my my like my parents like my mother want to wake me up at like 9 a.m and i start getting ready right i get very annoyed i'll be like i'm on holiday let me sleep uh-huh. but now right i'm like no no i pay a lot of money for this trip i cannot waste time okay let's talk about this optimal travel group size hmm can be to me uh, it's like yeah three to four okay i wrote four to six i think because not two because in case right one person wants to do something else right the other person can has can have like someone else to 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 do other things with but you don't have to leave you don't have to the this person won't feel bad leaving the other person alone mm. yeah so minimum three but I, I say four to six, right? Because I find like three people, then you always have like odd one out. So for yeah, example, have no, like let's say you go kayaking or you go white water rafting. Okay, so I was thinking more then, in that kind. Okay, then you pick activities that can accommodate three people. But I like to go. 
Okay. But I like that. Like, I like to go this type of activity. Or even okay, you take okay, roller coaster okay. or whatever. I mean, I'm okay sitting by myself. I'm just saying in general. Like, that's why I didn't put three. I say four because then at least, you know, you can like both, like what you say, if you want to do separate things, you can like uh, mm-hmm. choose. And I say up to six because, oh, I said four is good enough to play board games, card games, take a kayak. And I said anything more than six people, right? You're going to form mini clicks already. How do you even share the room? You don't share the room. You split lah. Two, two, two. Three, uh, three. Whatever, whatever yeah. it is ah. But you, you can split what? Okay. Yeah, but I just find like if let's say it's more than it's more than six, then you have like three and four, you know, you know that kind of situation. So when I was in poly, right, actually I only went with six of us. And even in the six of us, right, already like it became like two and four already. Mm-hmm. So I was with like three other people, then these two people were like mostly. No, by but at themselves. least it's like two and four. Like everybody has company, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah, like, I guess. No, then then because right, the bigger the group, the more logistics there is to be involved. Okay. And so that to me, there is no point going for a group trip if you are going to be separate. Separate, then you still have to. You still have to to do the lo- logistics of it. Like for example, uh, if let's say you're going for dinner together, you have to go and get a big van, and then you have to go and like stay in the same place. You have to go and make the multiple bookings, okay. blah 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 blah. Yeah, big nonsense. group, right? Just go to a tour agency. <laughs> oh. Then they settle for you. You just pay everyone uh, if you are willing. Just pay. Then you let them settle the logistics for you. Okay. So, I mean, that's what big families do. Eh? I notice. They just they 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 just hire a tour guide. Uh, agency to help them settle. I don't know. I I'm not from that kind of family, uh-huh. so I don't know. Okay, so let's let's talk about this that inspired this this topic. Okay, but like it's sleeping with your friends. Okay, and okay. this 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 problem ins- inspired this entire topic mm-hmm. because when we were when I was traveling, I happened to stay with someone who was a very 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 loud snorer. And I could not sleep for like the time that I was there. Oh, I was so like cranky in the night. So I was like complaining to her. I was like, I want to die. I can't sleep. And I, I feel a bit bad complaining about people who snore. Because you know they don't do it intentionally. Yeah. But it's still so annoying. <laughs> I know I have this problem. I'm, I see, not, not snoring. I'm a, I'm a light sleeper. Very yeah. light sleeper. And I'm very quiet when I sleep. So, I know I have this problem. So, everywhere I go, right, I bring earplugs and eye masks. I make sure that is in my packing list. After you mentioned to me that day, right, I was like, okay, next time, if I yeah. ever travel with my travel with my friends, I'm going I'm going to bring you also. Yeah, because my dad, right, he's a snorer. You know, sometimes I can hear him. I Through bought, the wall? Yeah, in my house. Yeah, through the, through the two doors. <laughs> so, like, I sleep with earplugs already, like, every day. Oh, yeah. so you're used to it. Yeah, I'm used to it already. I think I'm, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. That's why I, I, I've been... Uh, I never, like, really thought to buy because I don't sleep with people who snore. Uh-huh. Yeah. Usually, not even snoring. Like, even, like, if the person beside me just breathes a little bit loud, it will wake me up. Yeah, so I'm the problem. I know I'm the problem. So I always bring earplugs and the uh, sleeping mask. Okay, let's talk about the next thing, right? Which is getting into fights during trips. Okay. So exciting getting into okay. fights. The day I, I went Fuji with my friend, then we saw this group of Singaporean guys. I think they were fi- they were fighting. <gasps> okay. They were arguing. Like, it was quite obvious. And then I think... Then the thing is now, their other friends try to help. Like, stop the fight, you know. It's just one guy was just, like, scolding something. Then nobody said anything. Then they just continued the journey. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so so my question is, right, what will you most likely fight about? And will you ever abandon your friends mid-trip? I need to think, like, have I ever fought with someone? I, th- I actually... Trip? I've never fought with anyone, but I have been unhappy with my friends. And I think unhappy... A little bit of unhappiness is normal. <laughs> I don't know whether I should say this. I, I was unhappy. One of the, the things... Okay, like, it's not one of the things. One of the many things that make me unhappy is if my friends are constantly on their phones. 
it actually annoys me a lot. Because okay. I just like, I just, when I go for trips, I really like to like talk to my friends and like experience together. So if my friends are constantly on their phone, right, I'm like, why are you even here? Wait, how long, how long was your trip? Um, four days. Okay, that's a short trip. Because I went with my friend for 11 days, right? After the first, the first week, right? We have nothing to say to each other. No, I mean, sure. But it's like, you know, your meal time, then you're on your phone, or like, you're doing something, like, like, like you're taking picture, then, or you're walking through the park, then you're always on your phone, then you're like, why, why are you here? Oh, okay. I mean, I get, and like, everybody wants to use their phone, but it's like, throughout the day, like, and, and all your activities that you're doing together, like, you go cafe, then you're just using your phone, like, that, that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Mm, I think it's me lah. I do have. I feel. I feel very annoyed. Like I, if especially if I'm talking to my friends and then they keep using your phone, right? I get very angry one. Uh, okay, I never met friends that I'm talking to them. Then they are using. I have phone. it. Okay, okay. I really like have. They use, but I'm not talking to them. Then they use. Yeah, that one. Know? I yeah, that one. I mean, fine, but but I do have friends, right? Like I'm talking to them, then they just using their phone. Then they say, "Oh, I'm listening. I'm listening." I'm <laughs> like, I just don't have to talk to them anymore. <laughs> How how would you resolve conflict though? I tell myself don't go holiday with them again. <laughs> <laughs> no, what if it's big enough that you have to resolve it there and then? The question would be like, what are we arguing about that I would be so upset? Okay, another thing that I can think of is... Yeah, again, it will make me unhappy, but I don't think I'm going to fight over it. It's, it's the, if, if my friends stop me from eating what I want to eat, Oh, okay, that happened to me before. In Singapore though, then I, I that day I was quite unhappy. Yeah, so, so I can relate to how you feel. Actually, to be honest, if it is big enough for me to fight about, I probably will abandon them. Yeah, see, because I think I will just like, okay, bye, you're not coming, right? Okay, I'm going. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See you there. Oh my god, you know, you, you, want were, to come. you know when you were in China? Oh my god, I remember already. I did quarrel with my friend in Lake District. Uh, okay, so what happened was okay. exactly this. We were supposed to leave at a certain time. And then at that time, right, this person was still trying to heat up a croissant. Because this person was trying to heat up a croissant in a very specific way. Which would take up a lot of time. And we were unhappy with each other for a while. Lah, but after that, we still talk. And then we're, we're still friends today. So <laughs> it's all good. But not traveling with them, Erica. Hey. Oh, I am, I am. Next okay. month. But I think moral, moral of the story is that if you're traveling with friends, you have to be more flexible and accommodating. Yeah. Like, you need to be prepared that you might fight with the person. Like, you just need to be prepared that this person may not do things the same way as you. Mm. Yeah. So I think if both, if everyone gives in a bit, I think it will still be okay. You just like unhappy for like half an hour. Then after that, be like, yeah, because okay, sometimes it's it. just different style, but the yeah, person is not that's wrong. That's true. That's true. So you have to understand that like this person is mm. just living differently from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. Yeah. You're so right. if you have that type of understanding, right, I think it's easier, and you won't get angry. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, I try to be time. very accommodating. Right. I travel with friends. Hmm. Okay. Because no, I know that I'm always the pickier person. I think when it comes to food. No, I'm very picky. Like no, not not just food. There are other things in life that I'm very picky. Also, but I I know that I'm the problem. But you know, every time you are picky with food, right? Like when you eat when we go and eat like ramen, uh-huh. then you don't eat meat, and then you give me the extra meat, and so I just get extra meat for free. Yeah, yeah. So like you can <laughs> so I have be, no problem. You can be picky, but don't do it in a way that is inconveniencing people. Mm-mm. So it's like okay, my friend wanted to eat beef, so. I don't eat beef, right? So, but then, okay, like, we make it a point. Okay, we, we, we will find the beef for you. Because we are in Kobe. We were in Kobe. Like, we have to you eat the beef. You cannot don't eat beef. We cannot yeah. don't eat beef. So, like, okay, like, I make it a point. Like, okay, we go and search for your beef. I'll buy something else. Yeah. Mm. So sweet. So, you must know if, you, if you're, like, my type. You have my type of personality, right? You, you know that you are the problem, right? So, you have to be a more accommodating to other people. So sweet. So let us know what you think of traveling with your friends. Mm. Are you the type who would rather travel with your friends or travel solo? I think that's the debate. Rather travel with your friends or travel solo. But solo is always easier. 
it's easier but that's why lah it's more boring you see you I ask me you like ask me and is con. I rather travel with friends even though I don't really like travel with friends but okay. you are like you rather travel solo even though you're okay traveling with friends yeah yeah so you see okay so let us know and we'll see you next time bye, bye.